My name is James Yard. I've been collaborating with Eska and the young people from BYMT, composing a piece on gentrification, which was a topic set by the arts trained patron, Soretta Kinch. My name's Eska and I'm a singer-songwriter and I've been collaborating with James Yard on the uh, composition and the development of the uh, project for the young people at the London Jazz Festival. We started off way back in, I think it was June, we basically introduced the topic to the young people and we did some workshops and we basically got their perspectives on what the various people who may be affected by gentrification, what kind of emotions they go through, what experiences they go through. And the young people came up with some really good ideas and then we basically took those ideas and we kind of chose ideas to develop and we developed them over the summer. My name is Soweto Kinch. I'm a jazz musician, alto saxophonist and rapper MC. Uh, my involvement with this project has been going on for nigh on five, six years now actually and usually involves the role of mentor, of doing, in, inputting some fundamental creative ideas for the young people and other mentors to sink their teeth into, then hopefully produce a night of work that's connected thematically, challenges them and also makes them better musicians and artists in the process. I think this year's project and a subject, the, the theme of gentrification is particularly resonant and hopefully useful to the young people who are considering it as creatives and as composers. I wanted them to consider it from two perspectives, both the sort of practical material impact that gentrification is having on the high streets, that shops are getting more expensive, that house prices are soaring, and the other perspective, which is kind of culturally what that does if you are a creative, if you are an artist who lives in one of these areas. Less affordable studios to, to paint work in, less affordable music studios to create music in, or less places to congregate. And what effect does that have on a sense of community or belonging if you as a person in these areas don't feel that you can access some of these exclusive elitist spaces that are opening up? Well, to be given a quite difficult task, you know, to give quite a meaty topic, I think that was great to give uh, young people a chat. It was challenging for, for myself, <laughs> lonely young people, think of how you're going to translate the idea of gentrification, this, this concept, into sound. So I think carrying the young people through a journey like that and actually seeing through not only just having to tackle the topic and discuss the topic and then develop musical ideas, but then actually the rehearsal process and them seeing their ideas come to life. Really impressive stuff that came through. One of the things that I've enjoyed the most about the process is kind of being present, being allowed to kind of witness an idea and actually seeing it through to something that might be bigger and broader than what was imagined when you know the group of young people actually put that down and they get a sense of that how it's grown it's a fun thing to see happen when it all opens up whether or not they reach conclusions that i might agree with or whether or not they have radically different political ideas the process of thinking about these things engaging with them as a creative as a musician should make them i guess more thoughtful creatives not just writing songs for the sake of it but things which which have a social relevance.